Good evening folks, Mortuari here and welcome back to another episode of Dawn of Man. And remember, if you like uh, these videos or the series, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and post a little comment in the comment section below the video. And if you didn't like it or think I did something wrong, then let me know by pressing maybe the thumbs down button. But leave a little comment in the description telling me what I should change or how I can improve in the future. But yeah, this is going to be another PlayStation, so let's jump straight in. Uh... The setup is that we have our barley fields up. We have our first stables up. I don't think we have any animals except for a few sheep and a few goat. But we should be okay. We have some flax coming in. We have everything actually pretty much okay, I believe. Uh, we did not make any protection as in... As in with regards to walls and stuff like that, but I have been trying out the approach uh, someone has been suggesting that uh, you just put up some towers near the center of your village and use that as defense. So that's something I will be trying out. We will see how that works actually. Uh, 30 people, something like this. Oh crap, he didn't want to. He didn't want to. Wait, yeah, like that. So. There will be like seven towers up here and, and I'm hoping that will help with the defenses. I will see how things go. So we have the straw, we have a little bit of everything. I should probably go get myself some more creatures, uh, some animals. Uh, well, I don't really have a lot of animals near me. Donkeys, yeah, but I cannot tame the donkey the donkeys yet, so that's not, not going to help at all. There are some uh, reindeer up here. The food is okay-ish. If I could get some more food, that would be nice, actually. Oh, look, some more flint. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's maybe place another flint, uh, flint production area up here. Stone. Flint is what I need, man. Flint. The workload is too high. Uh, the weaver has to go up. This is the ladder. I should have some dry skins. I do not have the tannins. That is true. Yes, I need to find some tannins. Let's see if I can uh, find... Mm, there's like one tree up here, but one tree is not enough. What? You are a tree production area. Why would you be here? There is no reason for you to be here. You go up here. Okay, so that should get me some tannins. Tannins which I will be using to turn uh, my hides into leather. Workload is too high. I know about the workload. There's nothing I can do about that for now. Uh, what was the number again? For No. Yeah, 161% is actually rather high. Fall. So they are harvesting the barley, which should get me some uh, some more straw as well. The straw which I will be using to make the the last couple of towers and also a few more things like like these things here. So that should be all fine. Senior game, senior grass. What's up, everyone? So uh, this is basically Age of Empires but evolved. Yeah, it is similar. Uh, I have been comparing it to Age of Empires and... No, I have been comparing it to... Uh, uh, what was the game? I can't remember. I can't remember at all, but people have been comparing it to Banished. I have Banished. I have never really played Banished all that much, so... Oh, Balok is dead. Funerals. Uh, first structure, the Weaver is up. Oh, so yes, we will be making... Uh, I need more sheep, actually. If I can find some sheep, I should be getting some sheep. Because the sheep... Uh-oh, what are those? Wolves. Let's go get some wolves and kill the others. Uh, tame, tame the wolves. Yeah, settlers. Settlers is what I was thinking of, the settlers. Although there is no real way to go uh, to go to war with other other factions in this game. The other factions attack you, but there is no way for me to go out and, and fight with other factions because it's purely random. But it's wolf attacks. Yeah, I know about the wolf attacks. I've been doing that myself, you silly. So yeah, this time I am setting up some defenses, but uh, I probably won't be using them. Uh, I don't know why, but the, the 
<laughs> Wait, that sounds like Kratos. That's the sound I get when, when raiders are attacking me. Do I see any raiders in the area? I don't, so it might be, might still be the wolves. Yeah, it's probably still the wolves. No worries there. So I'm going to be taming the wolves. The wolves will get me a few more dogs, which will protect my, uh, my, uh, my little settlements. Jet. Oh, winter, winter is here. So, okay. I think the food production, we have a quite stable food production. Oh, that's the new one. It's already depleted. Darn, it's going fast. Um, so yeah, I have my towers up. What's the status on the housing? I can still house. I can get a few more. Oh, Balalk. Balalk is sick. I, I've infected him. I was pretty darn... Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hunters. Go get him. Go kill the woolly rhino. It's good. Good f food production, good hide production. Oh, you went down pretty fast, actually. Nice. So, yeah, we will get some more hides. The only issue I have is the tannins. So, I should try to regrow some trees and see if I can get some tannins out of that. It's gonna be annoying. That's going to be a little bit annoying. Okay, this is fine. A granary here. I think we need a second granary. Well, a third then. If it's not the second one, then it's a third one. Is this... Uh, mm, let's put up a granary up here, actually. Build, search, another granary. like this and I'm starting to get linen which is perfect linen and wool so I need more sheep the flax field should be working out but the sheep are, are yeah nowhere to be found for the time being Mino Sino sheep also let's check on uh, on the advancements I can get megalithism the pigs, the pigs are interesting, but uh, hmm. I'm gonna go for this one. So fourteen more. Uh oh, new humans. Okay, no more flint. I know about the flint. The flint is going to be an issue. I survived another winter. I got my first donkey hunted, and I have unlocked unlocked the megalithism. Also, this should mean that I might be able to check if there are some megalith in my area. I do not see anything very close, but there are three up there, but those are already rather far. This is probably more flint, but nah. It's already quite far away. There is a megalith up here. There is another one up there. So maybe I should try to bring a few, a few in. Ah, there is another one here. And two more are there. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing the similar approach I did with uh, with the other play session. And I'm going to see if this actually works. So let me pick uh, building. This one. Ah, there is a spot up here where, the, where this one f will fit in. So... I can do the six small ones and then destroy them to make the big one. I hope that will work. Hi everyone, have you guys played any custom scenarios? I did not try the custom scenarios yet. I think once I have finished this playthrough then I will be trying out uh, Either the custom scenarios, if I can find some, or, or the scenarios provided with the game. Is this the full release? It is not the full release yet. As you can see in the bottom right part of the screen, this is still a development build. The full release is actually scheduled for the 1st of March. So 10 more days, then we have the full release. What are you? 
Oh, bisons. I thought it was sheep. Um, I could go hunt down some bisons. Uh, I could go hunt down those as well. But I kind of only need the sheep. And of course, not a single sheep in my area. Okay, let's try to get uh, at least one of those stones in. Okay, that's fine. And then try to find a hunting party. Yeah, go kill the bison, please. Oh, slow down. Go kill the bison. You three on that guy. And then a couple more on the other guy. Come on, hit it. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's two of them. Should be enough. Should be enough to start with. You can download it straight from the game menu. Oh, you can... Ah, it's on the Steam Workshop. Ah, nice. So people are getting the flags, which is... Perfect. It's full. They should try to collect all that. And they are? Yes, they are. They are. So I have... May maybe I should make another, another tower up here, just to be sure. It's like... I have 10 towers now. 10 times 2, that's 20 people. Uh, will be a lot. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should not have done that. Sheep contracted a disease. Yeah, of course. I have two sheep. And they contract the disease. Actually, are there any more sheep in my area? No, this is goat. Wait, this is... Ibex is... Hmm, do I want them? I don't think I want the beast, uh, the, the ebex is the sheep, is what I need. There's like one move up here. I oh, know it's a deer. Oh dear, it's a deer. So we have more of those up here, that's nice. But not a single sheep. And what's this? This, this is something I do not understand, like... Why would you leave a sledge full of things out here in the open? You, my friend, you are probably too cold. You should go uh, get some rest. Everyone should get some rest. Why is nobody going inside? It's too cold for you guys to be outside. No sheep. Get the wolves and, and all the dogs you can get because... Those can come in quite handy once uh, raiders start attacking you. They will help defend your base, so that's always interesting. Like, why? Why go... You you will be freezing to death, but still... Yeah, you go, you go get some fish and stuff like that. Like this guy. Freezing to death, but let's go pray to the gods. I don't get it sometimes. They'd rather starve... Uh, freeze to death, then get a prayer in. So you get some wood up there. There is another one for wood, and I think I had some more tannins in this area too. Yeah, so this is the tannin construction thingy, this is the hunting area, this is whatever. And this is for tannin, for that one tannin thingy up there. Yeah, not really worth it. Now, I, I do need a lot of lumber. So, you. Yeah. Two people on that, maybe? I know about the flint, and I don't care about the flint. Resume. Save. This one works. So that's one, one, what's that? One more stable. Can you do click a single tree to select many of that tree type? Normally you can, yes. 
you can double click on just about anything to select more of that type. I'm just not sure if it will select only the tannin ones in this case. No, this all. Yeah, okay. Select everything of the same time. Same thing with animals. If you have animals in the area somewhere, double clicking them will select all of them. Same with stone as well, I think. Ah, no, that doesn't work. Okay. I know about the flint. And I know about uh, the stable. The stable is being constructed as we speak. But I need some logs for that. I have my water. So three more points and I can unlock the last thing up here. Oh no, two more. Then I can start to collect. Well, I could actually go for the copper smelting immediately. I don't really need this one. Yeah, if I want to get my dog, yeah, I will get it because I want my donkeys and later on my horses. And we survived another winter, which is perfect. Wait, still not enough? Yeah, 21. So that's, I have room for 30 now. Nice. Raider attack. Crap. Where are they coming from? Sound the horns. I would say close the gates, but we have no gates. So let's see how this works, actually. Let's see if this is going okay. So we have a small raider party. It's only five people. But the idea was to have no protection, no walls. Sound the horns so people will assemble around the campfires. Oh, I don't have a watchtower up here. Should probably have put one tower up here. And let the raiders come so they get attacked by the towers. And meanwhile, I have my people close by. We will see how this goes. And if I was a raider, I would start by destroying everything I see on my path. Yeah, see? Whoa. Well, for five raiders, this worked. This worked. Now, I could probably also... Huh, I'm starting to wonder if I would place walls all around this. If I could actually funnel them in this way. So I need to have 20 points now to unlock the next thing. What can we do to actually advance on that? Well, I could maybe... My drawing megalith has been built, so they will be pulling in the the first... Uh... Wait, 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 slow down. Oh yeah, those are bisons. This I do not understand. Why would you leave your sledge behind? If you have to go from here back to the town, why leave the sledge behind? I, I, that's things I do not understand. Things I do not understand about the game part one. Cave bears times 10, which is knowledge plus two. That's how you do it. So I have three stables. I could build a couple more stables just to get the points, but I don't really know if that's one, two, three, four, five. I already got that point. I have one storage, maybe some more granaries. Through the cold of the winter, my people are bringing in the first megalith. The first menir. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There. It's up. Is it? Uh, fishing. Goat has been slaughtered. Colland has died of old age. And my first many is up. Nice. You are getting stone. Why are you not getting... Wait. How about my tools? I have spares. Fine. I have knives. Okay. I have this. I have that. I have sticks. Uh, sickle. Wait, only 16 sickles. I need more 
pigs and sick especially sickles why am i not uh, having more sickles let me check the sickles the sickles are at 100 percent you human as oh crap i need expansion i need expansion i need the uh, well, i had room to build the thing up here right of course if i will start building up here then probably the raiders will start attacking that and i'm losing my yeah i need houses should be room for a couple more people because i'm i'm approaching my my limit seven more points seven more points Man, i just got my sheep and they are slaughtering them food is still pretty much okay for now i will have to pay attention to the to the food in the future because with the more people i get the more food i will be consuming of course the mouflon has escaped copper ore in my area which is cool let's get some balls up here kill the rest and then I can safely kill the other sick bird. If I can find it, of course. Nope. It will die on its own. Okay, we're getting closer. Four more points. Four more points. And then we can unlock the copper age. I still have a, an excess of food. So my balance is still positive. But it's starting to go down a little bit your human has joined the settlement and uh yeah clothing wise things are gonna get very expensive with the high high traders but we are getting our points so that's nice New animal has been born. Two more sheep. Okay, which means uh, I need new stable as well. So let's build another stable somewhere. Build a house, a stable. Oh man. There. What's the season for? Yeah, let's kill them. Let's go get them. Oh, you are Ebexes. Let's pick a fight with the, with, with the rhinos. Of course, if the rhinos don't run away. And crap, we have another blizzard. That's the two points I needed. And we can unlock the... Copper Age, let's do that. There you go, Copper Age unlocked. Let me save this. And sadly, this is all the time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. If you have comments, ideas or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. And if you didn't like this video, feel free to press the thumbs down button, but make sure to post uh, in the comment section what you didn't like so I know what to improve. And check the description description for links to social media pages links to ways to support me like patreon and stuff like that a link to our discord server where you can hop on have some fun with us have a chat and also a link to the twitch channel where i'm streaming this game and a few other games as well and when you're on the youtube page feel free to subscribe to the channel not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal but you will also get notified when i post new content to the channel and that being said i'm gonna be wrapping up today's episode so until next time have fun and stay safe Bye-bye.